penicillins. What are the things which are very important to know about penicillins? Let's begin with this. Think about the word oral and spell the word oral. O R A L. Letter O is the letter that stands for what? Let's ask. When you're going to take penicillin, should it be on full stomach or empty stomach? The answer, on empty stomach. When we talk about taking penicillin, should it be taken at regular or irregular intervals? The answer is regular intervals. So, letter O, on empty stomach. Letter R, regular intervals. 8 R's, 8 R's, 8 R's. But there is another meaning for letter R. What could this be? Well, who is he? Is he poor or rich? He is rich. So, I want to be a billionaire, so I'm freaking bad. What does rich stand for, you may ask? Le well, uh, let's uh, spell rich. Letter R, I, C, H. Letter R, what do you see right now up there? What is that letter R? That's a rash. Next one, up there, what do you see? Letter I that you're doing. You're itchy and so you're scratching your face. And next one, letter C stands for what do you do inside the comfort room when you frequent the comfort room? Is it constipation or there? Next one, up there, H stands for hives. Aside from hives, what do you call the letter H that pertains to this? The H wherein you have an increase in temperature that is hyperthermia. Now, from this one, we go back to another question. Can you take it with fruit juice, penicillin, yes or no? The answer is no, you cannot take it. Which brings us to letter A, that means acidic fluid, no. Another letter A is this one, the one that you're seeing there. It's an allergy. You check for history of allergy with penicillin. And letter L, letter L is the opposite of the word solid. Letter L is liquid. If the penicillin is in liquid format, you have to shake well before you're going to administer the medication. So those are the things important about oral. And Penji fights what? Well, Penji penicillin fights Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Enterococcus. How does it do that? It inhibits cell wall synthesis. So that's the reason why it is effective among many illnesses. Meningitis, pneumonia, pharyngitis, syphilis. Well, these are some of the illnesses. Next one, we go to exam notes. It has a decreased effect on oral contraceptives. So if somebody is taking oral contraceptives while taking penicillin, what is going to happen? It may not be effective and the client may be get pregnant. Another one is this bleeding. Why will there be bleeding? Because penicillin may do something to your GI flora. Well, if the GI flora goes down, there is a decreased vitamin K production, decrease in clotting factor, increase in probability of bruising. And it's important to know that there is a drug that extends the effectiveness of penicillin inside the body. And what is this drug? This drug is probenicin. So what if that is done by probenicin? When clients suffer from gonorrhea, they are going to take penicillin plus probenicin in order to extend the effectiveness of the antibiotic. Now that we have learned this information, time for review questions.